But almost 7% of COVID-19 fatalities succumbed to the virus at home, while over 20% died even before being transferred to the parallel healthcare facilities. Sunilala followed the Ministry of Health's virtual media conference on Wednesday and has this report. As at June 15th, total active positive cases were just below 9,000, with just over 8,000 persons in home self-isolation. Just 459 patients were recorded to be in hospital. There have been several reports of COVID-19 patients dying at home in the last month or so. An epidemiologist, Dr. Avery Hines, gave the actual percentage of persons who would have succumbed to the disease while at home. 7% of the, or 6.9% of those fatalities may have occurred at home, whereas the vast majority would have occurred within the parallel system. Meanwhile, Dr. Hines says an excess of 20% of COVID-19 positive persons would not have even made it to the parallel healthcare system for treatment. Some that would have entered the accident and emergency systems within the public hospitals and were severely ill and therefore did not, um, did not survive the transfer from accident and emergency to the parallel healthcare system, somewhere in the vicinity of about 26% or so. Dr. Hines adds that the ministry is now compiling a list of how many persons on ICU or HDU would have died, but warns that the numbers could be high. The need for ICU and HDU care in the first place obviously represents the presence of much more severe illness and therefore the possibility of a fatal outcome within the ICU and HDU settings would be higher. The epidemiologist says there continues to be a slow decrease of COVID-19 figures and a simultaneous decrease in hospital occupancy rates but is urging all to continue adhering to COVID-19 measures to get back to a state of normalcy. Sonolala. TTT News. Nine more people have died of COVID-19. This country's death toll now stands at 695. According to the latest update from the Ministry of Health, an additional 297 people have tested positive for the virus. Those samples were taken during the period of June 12 to June 15. Active cases now stand at 8,869. A total of 168,477 people have received the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine while 24,018 are now fully vaccinated against the virus.